sisters today we need to ask ourselves this personal question am i generous to give jesus all that jesus is asking of me each one of us jesus is asking you something are you generous to give jesus all that jesus is asking you if you are generous you will gather if you are generous in wanting to give everything that jesus is asking you you will gather treasures for yourself and you will be able to snatch many souls that are on the on the edge of the abyss edge of destruction and are you ready are you ready to give everything that jesus is asking of you that jesus will ask of you we are come here to be that living sacrifice that your life and my life will be 
conformed to Christ, configured to Christ. So when we tell the Lord, Lord, all for you, I give my everything to you. And when you do that, God will use you to conquer giants.
blessed us with such lovely musicians. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have Bruce Lee uh, on the lead guitar. Praise God. So, Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bruce Lee couldn't come for the first few days, but he said he, he will be with us. And so we are so glad we have him with us. Praise the Lord. And on the bass guitar, we have Jerry. Praise God. All the way from Bangalore. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And we have Royden on the keyboards. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A great instrument in God's hands. We thank the Lord for his talent. Praise God. And we also have a friend from the faith band, Sergius, on the drums. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. So God brings all his people together for his glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we have the lovely Hallelujah. Glenn and Teresa with us. <laughs> right? They've been doing this for many years. Let's give them a big hand and thank Hallelujah. Jesus for them. Hallelujah. 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 Right? As we sang, it's a joy to serve the Lord. Praise God. And so let's reach out to our God and tell him, Lord, you're all that we want. Christ is enough for me. Praise God. So God has chosen us to be his witnesses, to be his instruments, and we live for and exist for his glory. When I met Mother Teresa in Calcutta, when we were singing in a rock band, she prayed over us and she told us, sing for the glory of God. Don't sing for your own glory. Praise the Lord. It burned through my heart. And later, Mother Teresa was us declared a saint praise the Lord and I was so overjoyed to have been touched by a saint and blessed me with these words sing for the glory of God so we exist for his glory if we don't exist for his glory we are never fulfilled we're never happy we never really we just pretenders we don't really enjoy our existence it is complete only in the joy of the Lord hallelujah 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 Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Christ is my reward and hope of my devotion. And there's nothing in this world that can ever satisfy. So we'll say no turning back. I've been set free. Sing that chorus one more time. Christ is my reward and all of my devotion. Let's lift our voices. Now there's nothing in this world. That could never set aside True every trial My soul will sing No turning back I've been set free Christ is enough for me Christ is enough Sing that chorus one more time. Wow. 
the joy of my salvation. And now this hope will never fade. Heaven is our home. To every star, my soul will sing. Jesus lives here. To God be the glory. Sing this Christ. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. It's a big decision. We're not just singing something, but it's what we mean. Right? So with all the meaning, let's sing. I've decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The cross before me, the cross before me, the one behind me. No turning back, no turning back. Raise our hands. The cross before me, the one behind me. No turning back, no turning back. Lifting our hands, sing. Christ is. Enough for me, Christ is enough for me. Everything I need is in you. Everything I need for the last time. Christ is enough. decided no turning back yes. hallelujah hallelujah have you decided to follow jesus yes. you know friends when we decide to turn away from the world and turn to jesus we're giving up dirt to take hold of a diamond hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 friends when we give our life to jesus there is no limit to what God can do through us and for us. Hallelujah. 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 And friends, today we have a living witness of how great God can work through us. As I've often heard this very person beginning a talk with this way, when God mixes with man, great things happen. 
And today when we look around the world, perhaps the Divine Retreat Center ministry is a tremendous phenomenon. In every continent, thousands upon thousands, week after week, month after month, are experiencing the power of the Holy Spirit. And it all began with one person who dared to trust in Jesus, who gave his life to Jesus, who committed his life in prayer. And God blessed this person with a vision and a prayer. And today, let us welcome this person who is at the heart of Divine Retreat Center, Father Matthew Nikom Parambal. First and foremost, I praise God for the wonderful music ministry, which brings down the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Also, I thank for Maria Sangeeta for the wonderful good words that she has spoken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us ask for the intercession of our Heavenly Mother. Hail Mary. Hallelujah. 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 We were privileged to go to Mexico to Guadalupe three consecutive years to preach the word of God there. That is 1993, 94, 95. When, whenever we used to go to USA, the neighboring country is Mexico. Something very wonderful took place in Mexico, in Guadalupe, in 19... In 1533, Mother Mary appeared to a Juan Diogo. He is an ordinary country farmer. And she appeared to her and told him to go to the local bishop to tell him to raise a church in that particular place. First, they may not believe he is a poor, ordinary man. So she gave a sign. Her un his uncle, dying uncle, bedridden, will receive a miraculous healing. As he went back, his uncle was healed. And with that good news, he went to the bishop the following day. And uh, he said, Mother Mary appeared to him and asked the bishop to say, to raise a church there. Initially, they did not believe. So, another apparition was given to Juan Diego and told him once again to go. And they will again ask for a sign. This will be the sign. The nearby very hilly place, at the top of it, there will be lot of flowers the whole of Mexico, there will not be any flowers at all at that time. The following day, he climbed that play mountain and found so many flowers which he collected in his veil and brought to the bishop. It was the group of flowers which will grow up only in Spain. The bishop was from Spain, Bishop Sumarago, and he down the flowers and that was enough for the bishop to believe, Bishop Sumarago. Now, there is a Basilica church there in Guadalupe. 20 million people used to come as pilgrims. Praise the Lord. The good news which I am going to share is this. After the apparition of Mother Mary in Guadalupe, Within 10 years, there were 8 million conversions and baptisms into the church. 
Praise the Lord. So this is to bring what is happening when we say Hail Mary or when we make a pilgrimage to Mother Mary's pilgrim center. We are supposed to receive a new anointing of the Holy Spirit. That is why 8 million people could be converted and baptized into the Christian faith. Hallelujah. Once again, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. Today, morning onwards, I was feeling neck pain. Now the neck pain is flowing to my right hand side, flowing down. Maybe some of you are suffering from neck pain or when the neck pain is going down to the hands and one side of the body. Are there somebody of that kind? Neck pain and uh, the pain going down to the hands and one side of the body. Please stand up. All people <laughs> who have neck pain and pain on one side of the body. Now, this may be a healing message which I experienced. Just move your hands, turn your neck, right and left, and experience the healing. If you have already received such a healing, raise the hand. The pain is gone away. Move your hands. Please come forward to the front. Please come forward. Hurry up. Pope Francis used to come forward, come forward used to preach to priests and preachers around the world. Go and tell the whole world that Jesus Christ is alive. How can we prove to the whole world we have a living God in our midst? Our God is a loving God, a forgiving God, a healing God, a delivering God. Hallelujah. So how many of you have already received the particular healing I mentioned? Please raise, raise your right hand. Hallelujah. Turn that side and wave your hands. Turn that side. Hallelujah. 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 Clap your hands once again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is our Lord Jesus a living God? A healing God? Praise the Lord. You can go back to your seats. Hallelujah. 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 God appeared to Moses in the burning bush on Mount Horeb. <coughs> And spoke to Moses, the, my people, the people of Israel are under slavery to Egypt now 400 years. You have to go and tell the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, to liberate or send my people, to send my people to worship me. Pharaoh would not accept. Listen to Moses. And the people of Israel may not accept Moses. They may question you. What is the name of the God who appeared to you? And what was the answer God gave to Moses? I am who I am. John's Gospel 8.24 John 8.24 Jesus said if you don't believe 
it is i am he who appeared on mount sinai the great almighty god if you don't believe it is i who appeared there on the burning bush if you don't believe what will happen you will die in your sins you will die in your sins jesus is saying i am the almighty god i am the almighty god who appeared to moses on mount sinai hallelujah 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 john 14:9 14:9 those who see me see the father those who see me see the father john 10 i and the father are one praise the lord hallelujah 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 john's in the book of revelation god said i am the alpha and the omega and you know alpha is the first letter in the greek language omega is the last letter book of revelation 117:18 book of revelation 117:18 the risen lord jesus says i am the beginning and the end i am the beginning and the end though i was dead i am alive though i am dead i was dead i am alive hallelujah hallelujah john 14:6 jesus says i am the way to the father i am the way i am the truth i am the life nobody comes to the father except through me hallelujah 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 two missionaries paul and silas were put into prison because of their preaching boldly of jesus and bringing healing and deliverance they were put into prison they were chains they were put along with the other prisoners and in the midnight they were singing psalms and praising the lord other prisoners also joined what happened there was something like an earthquake the the prison doors were opened the chains were broken the jail keeper could not believe what is happening the prisoners may have escaped but paul cried no we are here don't do any crime upon yourself he tried to kill himself the prison the jail keeper the jail keeper called paul and silas to a corner and asked them brothers what shall i do to be saved praise the lord what was the answer given by paul and silas believe in the lord jesus you and your family shall be saved what does it mean to be saved first and more foremost the whole world is under the power of sin and satan we cannot do the good we want to do we are tempted to please human beings rather than god we want to get human applause and so we go away or keep away from obeying the promptings of the holy spirit which is so much important those who are led by the spirit of god they are children of god hallelujah hallelujah <coughs> hallelujah 
Hallelujah. After joining the seminary, I was the first Vincentian to be sent for as a seminarian for higher studies like graduation. Already uh, then the, uh, in the three years for mathematics, B.Sc. studying in Ernagulam, I was living with five priests, the only seminarian. We had a morning prayers, holy mass, meditation, about two, more than two hours. But then the Lord spoke to me, can you not wait at least one hour with me? Very, in a very small voice. Can you not wait at least one hour with me? God is asking. Not the community prayer is enough. You spend one hour additional with me. So, before the evening rosary at 8 o'clock, I would go to the small chapel, 7 to 8, 8 evening, kneeling down and praying. One day I heard a loving voice, Ask and you shall receive Holy Spirit. Ask and you shall receive Holy Spirit. I did not understand. God is speaking to me, but it was a sweet voice. I could understand this is a word of God from the Holy Bible only after three years. After my college graduation, one year philosophy, then going to the Vincentian novitiate, then only I came to know this is a word of God. Luke 11, 9 to 13. <coughs> Luke 11, 9 to 13. Ask and you shall receive. Knock and the heaven shall be opened for you. Seek and you shall find the infinite mercy, infinite love, the infinite, infinite goodness, the infinite power of our God. Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. That is Luke 11, 9. 11, Luke 11, 13 says, you shall receive the fullness of the Holy Spirit, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, not for yourself only, but for thousands of people for whom you are praying and interceding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I heard the voice of the Lord at the age of 20. Now I am 23 years in the novitiate. One day he was kneeling down and reading from a meditation book. Suddenly, I closed my eyes. I saw something like a full moon sight of a sphere of light, like the size of a full moon burning up in the heavens. A beautiful light. And that sphere of light up in the sky, slowly coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, and descending upon me, resting upon my head, then entering into my person till the heart, till, uh, till the 50% of my body and head is filled with Divine light, divine bliss, divine joy, divine illumination for about 15 minutes. Opening the eyes, there will be nothing at all. But it is a vision, experience, perhaps God, God's love and light. I was a very broken person for many reasons. Very negative about, about myself. You are good for nothing. Negative remarks of others. And uh, you are not good looking. You are not talented. Such negative comments by, made by anybody. It would affect me and I would keep it in my mind. And I will be disturbed 
by negative thoughts which will be reminded again and again by the enemy the devil why we are not we are not filled with the positive word of god from early childhood we have to by heart the sweet powerful word of god loving messages from the holy bible we have to by heart it we have to memorize the word of god you are so precious to me i have inscribed your name upon my palm almighty god says you are so precious to me psalm 27 10 even if the father and mother forget you i will not forget you you are most precious to me hallelujah <coughs> hallelujah <coughs> hallelujah 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 some of you may have throat problem block of voice uh, cough and uh, we are disturbed and uh, in the throat such people if you had of that kind problem raise the hand when you came in here the lord wants me to announce a healing message your throat problems are healed praise the lord just to examine whether you are healed we will say three hallelujah aloud hallelujah 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 thank you father thank you jesus thank you holy spirit how many of you feel you have already received a healing for your throat afflictions or block of voice please stand up after coming here you are already healed of your throat afflictions block of voice just wave your hand just come and stand in front to glorify the lord hallelujah hallelujah psalm 103 verse 3 says he forgives all our sins and heals all our diseases hallelujah please repeat after me he forgives all our sins he heals all our diseases hallelujah prabhu ke stuti ho yesu ke stuti ho prabhu ko dhanyavaad Yesu ko dhanyavaad. Turn that side and wave your hands. Both hands. Turn that side. Lift up both your hands. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you very much. Go back to your seats. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. 17 people in this group who finds to find out a good job the lord is taking away the block and helps you to find out a suitable good job 17 people are blessed clap your hands and praise the lord why we are blessed because our god is a blessing god he want to bless us when god created adam and eve he said to them increase and multiply and fill the earth adam and eve two persons now how many how many 8000 million people all over the world praise the lord 8000 million people all over the world so when god says increase and multiply don't tell back father god when i when i marry we want only two children we want more increase and multiply so that they will become citizens in heaven and their generation will multiply so when you get married remember what god said to adam and eve increase and multiply and fill the earth 
where there are more children, there may be poverty, but more love, more crying prayer to God, and our family will be blessed because there are more children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first blessing, increase and multiply and fill the earth. When we go around the world, by God's grace, we have gone to 72 countries to preach the word of God. To America, 34 times. So next August 2, 2nd, we are going the 35th time to go to preach in America and Canada. Praise the Lord. Wherever we go, not only outside India, also inside India, thousands and thousands of acres of land without anybody occupying. Praise the Lord. God wants more children to be born. They will become citizens of heaven for eternal happiness. Hallelujah. 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 Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Hallelujah. One day, once I was writing an article on Hail Mary prayer. The second part, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Suddenly, I saw a heavenly vision, a rainbow covering the whole heaven. And upon which it is written, this is a prayer for the whole world. Which prayer? The Hail Mary prayer. How? Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. How many sinners? Except Mother Mary and Jesus. All are sinners around the world. Somehow or other, they have gone wrong. So it is a prayer for the whole world. That is a vision which I saw written upon a rainbow vision. This is a prayer for the whole world. What about the prayer, Our Father? It is a prayer for the whole world. Our Father, not my Father. Our Father, holy be your name. God is infinitely holy. That, that holiness may be covering every individual person all over the world. Let all the 8,000 million people be made holy. Hallelujah. Holy be your name. Your kingdom come. That is the kingdom of God. That is life in the Holy Spirit. Romans 14, 17. Romans 14, 17. The kingdom of God is not feasting or having material affluence. The kingdom of God is love, joy, peace, life in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thy kingdom come. That means the kingdom of God, the presence and power of the Holy Spirit come upon every individual person in the world. So we are asked to pray for the whole world. Every time you say the Our Father and the Hail Mary. So when we say, we have to say boldly, aloud, powerfully, with the great faith, great things ha will happen around the world. Hallelujah. 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 Our Father, who is in heaven, holy be your name upon the whole world. Thy kingdom come. The kingdom of the life in the Holy Spirit come into the hearts of every human person. What is the next prayer? 
thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven what is the will of god no one should perish and go to eternal hell fire every one should be saved luke 36 luke 36 luke 36 the whole mankind will see the salvation of our god hallelujah hallelujah who is jesus christ to you jesus the word of god says he is the sacrificial offering for our sins not only for our sins but for the sins of the whole world hallelujah that is first john 44 first john then again we read hallelujah hallelujah there in the holy eucharist lifting up the consecrated host the priest says behold the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world such a mighty celebration holy mass holy eucharist it is a celebration and a worship which can take away the sin of the whole world we should have that intention praying for the whole world every eucharist hallelujah behold the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world hallelujah first peter first peter 224 jesus carried carried our sins upon his shoulders and climbed the cross of calvary jesus carried the sins our sins the sins of the whole world starting from adam and eve to the last to person in the human race he carried our sins and the punishment of our sins upon his body that so that we may die to sin and live for righteousness holiness justice a life without sin hallelujah hallelujah because of his wounds you are healed because of his wounds we are healed there were thousand wounds in his body and he was dying he shed the navigation book it is revealed 28000 drops of blood flowed out from his body hallelujah there were there were 6000 times his body he was scourged because of his wounds you are healed some of you had back pain when you came away from home all those who had back pain please raise the hand all those who are suffering from back pain please raise the hand now stand up those who had been suffering from back pain when you came away from home just bow down and lift up your body turn right side left side and once again bow down and lift up your body and those of you who feel that you are healed of your back pain raise the hand those who are healed of your back pain raise the hand please come forward to glorify the lord please come forward no medicine was served no injection no inj no uh, ayurvedam or allopathy was given but because of his word we are healed hallelujah because of his wounds you are healed hallelujah 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 glory to god glory to jesus glory to holy spirit 
ഹലിയാച്ച് pornography that they thinks i know i should not watch holy spirit does not like it though even i give up again that temptation comes what is the purpose god a loving temptation this is the purpose not to fall into sin lord i praise you and thank you for this temptation and i pray for thousands and tens of thousands even millions of people who are addicted to pornography lord wash each one of them with your precious blood and fill them with the holy spirit the temptation you suffer now first of all you praise god then pray for thousands and millions lord wash those who are undergoing such crisis and temptation watch each one of them with your infinitely precious blood and fill them with the word of god and holy spirit you are doing positive effective evangelization by intercession and preaching hallelujah hallelujah did you follow what i said every temptation is provided by satan but we are not allowed to fall into it but when we recognize this is a temptation maybe a whatsapp call dirty call a uh, sinful um, uh, sharing uh, which will lead to uh, even sinful life we are not allowed to take the phone a second time then we know this is coming from such a person but then we can pray lord thousands of people tens of thousands of people who are falling into this temptation and getting destroyed i pray for 10000 50000 500000 such people lord wash them and cover them with your infinitely precious blood fill them with the holy spirit the most needed healings and miracles hallelujah intercession praising that will go to thousands and millions hallelujah 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 here and now the lord is delivering 16 people from the addiction to watch pornography 16 people gets deliverance hallelujah 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 thank you father thank you jesus hallelujah 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 prabhu ki stuti ho yesu ki stuti ho prabhu ko dhanyawad hallelujah hail mary full of grace Hallelujah 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 Is there anybody here who had a shoulder injury by an accident the lord is healing such a person is there such a person you had injury in the shoulder stand ah you are standing up if you feel you are healed just wave your hands if you feel you are already healed 
three persons, four persons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Recently, I went for an Ayurvedic treatment in a small hospital. I am standing on the, not on the ground floor, the first floor. And from there, I am speaking to somebody in the down floor. And hearing my voice, one man who was had interview with the doctor, he suddenly came out of the room. And are you Father Matthew? I want to tell something. He climbed the first floor and told me, 20 years ago, when I came here, I came as a madman due to alcoholism and was running around how to jump out of this compound. But I could not. On the third day, during the Eucharistic adoration, I saw the face of Jesus in the Eucharist. And thereafter, now 20 years, I have not taken alcohol. I have not smoked, smoked BD. 20 years healing, deliverance during the Eucharistic adoration. We have a living God in Jesus, in the Holy Eucharist. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody sub suffering from hernia, the Lord is giving a miraculous healing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you may be desiring or aspiring to become a priest or religious you may raise the hand. Anybody desiring to become, dedicate your life to a consecrated life, priest or religious, the Lord is anointing 12 people for consecrated life. Complete dedication, priest or religious. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your hands and clap your hands. Hallelujah. How the enemy, the devil, attacks us. The devil brings negative thoughts. Thoughts of sorrow. Thoughts of despair. Thoughts of judging others. Judging ourselves wrongly. So our peace is destroyed. Thoughts of anxiety. So what is the right remedy for all this. We have to fill our mind with the positive word of God. That will, we have to, suppose we, one or two words, word of God, we collect every day. For within 360 days, we will have 700 word of God. At least 100 we may remember later. Le studying the word of God, memorizing the word of God, reciting the word of God, we will be filled with the Holy Spirit, healing and the most needed miracles. Hallelujah. 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 Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Come Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with your love. With your infinite love. Hallelujah. We pray for the whole of India to be filled with the Holy Spirit. To be washed by the blood of Jesus. Each and every person. Hallelujah. We pray for the neighboring countries, China, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Nepal, Asian countries, all of them to be washed by the blood of Jesus. Europe, 700 million people. 70 crores, 700 million people to be washed by the blood of Jesus. North and South America, 
to be washed by the blood of Jesus. Every one to be filled with the Holy Spirit. 54 countries of Africa to be washed by the blood of Jesus. To be filled, anointed with the Holy Spirit. When we pray, will God accept our prayers? Yes, God will shower the washing of the blood of Jesus and the Holy Spirit upon thousands and millions. So, in 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, we read, pray at all times. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, pray at all times. When we pray, according to the will of God, God will accept our prayer and bless millions of people. They will be anointed with the Holy Spirit. They will be washed by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Though I was not afflicted with leg problem, now I feel different afflictions on my leg, the feet, below the knee and so on. Maybe the Lord is healing so many people with the leg problem. Praise the Lord. Already and even now. Just those who had any leg problem, pain and uh, pain on the feet and so on. Please raise the hand. Those who had leg problem. Please stand up. Please stand up. Now move your legs, left and right, and experience the healing touch of our God. The healing touch, the delivering touch of our Lord. Move your hand, legs, legs, and uh, experience the healing. Hallelujah. Those of you who had leg problem coming from home, pain, knee pain and other pain, now you feel you are freed. Raise the hand. Wave your hand. Come forward to glorify the Lord. Come forward to glorify the Lord. Some of the afflictions may be years together doing lot of treatments, but now the Lord has healed you because to prove to the whole world our God is a living, healing, forgiving, almighty God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All come forward. All come forward. Hallelujah. 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 All of you, clap your hands. All of you, turn the side other side and lift up your hands and wave your hands and glorify our living God, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. You may go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is Hallelujah. 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 <coughs> Drug addiction, 32 people addicted to drugs of various kinds. The good Lord is placing his hand upon you and healing you and delivering you. Clap your hands. <clears throat> 32 persons. Hallelujah. 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 <clears throat> Laziness to prayer. Laziness to go to Holy Mass. Is it from Holy Spirit? Ah, the enemy is working, bringing tiredness. You don't want to go to pray. May you want to sleep at the time fixed for prayer. I don't want to go to Holy Mass. Such a laziness is cast out from many. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
about 56 people who are lazy to go to Holy Mass. The Lord is delivering them. Clap your hands. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Once again, a mighty Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace. When you say Hail Mary at home also, you should say like preaching, you are preaching aloud. Because never Hail Mary, there are three words of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Who said Archangel Gabriel to Mary? Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Who said Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit. But it is written in the Bible. So every word of God has infinite power of blessing. It is like preaching the word of God. When you say the rosary, maybe one decade, you stand up and extend your hand in the crosswise and say aloud one or two decades. Maybe one decade by kneeling down, but not like this, like this. If you, can, you, are, you, are, you should sit erect if you are sitting on a chair or a bench and say aloud. And there should be a leader for the rosary to ask the people to say aloud. It is a preaching of the word of God. And also, together with preaching, there is casting out demons and anointing of the Holy Spirit bring, will, will be coming to us through the Holy Rosary and the Hail Mary prayer. Hallelujah. 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 26 people are healed of rheumatic troubles. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Suppose today one of us die. What will happen? Immediately we will be taken to the judgment seat of God. And we will be allotted either heaven or hell. If you are going to heaven, maybe some days in the purgatory, maybe. If you are not following the commandments of God, we cannot merit heaven. We may be destined for hell. How many of you want to go to heaven? How many of you want to go to heaven? Only one hand is lifted up. One hand is hanging towards purgatory or this world. Uh, not complete surrender. If we want to go to heaven, there should be a total surrender to the word of God, to the person of Jesus. Hallelujah. When foxes die, their eyes will be fixed on the chicken house whether he can eat, catch one more chicken. Our eyes should be always fixed in heaven. Heavenly reward. One day or other, we will die. God is waiting to give to us eternal happiness, eternal glory. So for that, we have to live a virtuous life, obeying the commandment, Obeying the word of God and helping as many suffering people as possible. Those who may be less intelligent, they cannot do any proper work at all. They have no house of their own. There is no income, no earning. We have to give not only one tenth of our income, even more than that set apart and helping the downtrodden, the suffering, the poorest of the poor. 
and in the judgment time god will say jesus will say whatever you did to one of these little ones you did to me so there is a great reward for you in heaven hallelujah hallelujah have you heard of ignatius of loyola who was the founder of the society of jesus once upon a time he was not going to church at all he was a military man never going to church but he was wounded in a battle and he was taken to the hospital and when he came out of the hospital still the wound was there so he had to be in the hospital about two and a half years they say and by this time he could be he was converted and he dedicated his life to serve not the king of spain but the king of kings the lord jesus christ who started initiated for the founding of the society of jesus and one of the first members of the society of jesus was francis xavier was a college professor ignatius of loyola whenever he met him said matthew 26 what you see in 26 if you gain the whole world and suffer the loss of your own eternal salvation what do you gain it's a total waste eternal life eternal salvation of your soul and those of other people is the most important several times ignatius loyola uttering this word of god before francis xavier he was touched by the word of god he joined the society of jesus he became a great missionary preaching in china in malaysia in japan finally many years in india the second apostle of india he had a prayer lord give me so souls take away everything else give me souls give me souls salvation of the sinners and god allowed him to baptize 100000 people with his own hands such a mighty evangelization took place through francis xavier hallelujah what was the cry of francis xavier give me souls take away everything else hallelujah hallelujah it is a good prayer is it a good prayer hallelujah some of you may be desiring to go to uk canada usa germany or any other foreign countries is there anybody who wants to go to such places raise the hand first of all examine this is the will of god whether god is sending us if god is sending us god is sending us to such countries to become missionaries to pray for that country many of them have gone away from faith and living sinful life not all of them many so first the purpose whenever if i go to any country i will pray for all the people maybe in india it is 142 crores of people in uk it is 6 and 6 uh, 65 million people like that canada uh, uh, france 6 crores of people 60 million people so knowing the number we will pray lord jesus watch each one of them with your precious blood and send your holy spirit send your millions of angels to bring the word of god to them as of now as you pray you will bring you will bring a blessing to that country and that will turn out to become a blessing for you hallelujah hallelujah so god is sending you not to grab the money but to evangelize those countries to intercede for those countries 
then you will be blessed back hallelujah 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 lift up your hands clap your hands praise the lord this is under obedience under obedience psalm 47:1 clap your hands and praise the lord hallelujah once again clap your hands and praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so this you can follow in your family prayer also standing up clapping the hands better blood circulation will come so jumping and praising better blood, blood circulation will come praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah though we are living in this world our eyes should be fixed in eternal life all other people are foolish people <laughs> all other people will be considered foolish people uh, whatever they have amassed acquired all will they will lose even the health everything only the virtues we have gathered and the good deeds we have done for others it will remain praise the lord those who want to go to heaven once again lift up your hands stand up i will give a small exercise for you which the holy spirit has given to me when i say 1 2 3 4 4 you jump four times to heaven praise the lord get ready make your feet leg okay for that jumping four times you should not come down before reaching heaven hallelujah hallelujah okay 1 2 3 4 you are jumping well but you can improve i will say five times then jump five times many miracles will take place 1 2 3 4 5 the last jumping six times then i will ask how many received a better smile how many can better smile how many how many received emotional healing and how many received physical healing so last jumping six times 1 2 3 4 5 Four, five, six. Very good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give a very broad smile to five, six people. Shake hand. We are good, good smile. Very broad smile. Hallelujah. 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 Now, listen to me. i want to i can look at your face and uh, i can see the joy coming to you hallelujah some of you had some physical afflictions pains which was not gone away until this time jumping six times five times four times you got a healing of physical sickness how many of you examine how many of you got a healing of physical sickness while jumping towards heaven others sit down those who got that healing come forward those who got that healing come forward hallelujah you come here very fast no time to lose come fast come fast hallelujah jumping towards heaven means always fix your eyes upon the eternal life god is waiting to shower upon us hallelujah so many people receiving healing while fixing your eyes upon the heavenly eternal reward so these people who got this healing this is only a manifestation that god is waiting us to bless us whatever suffering come 
I will offer my suffering for the conversion of sinners. For thousands of people to come away from alcohol and drugs. I offer my everyday suffering together with the sufferings of Jesus on the cross. Then my suffering will attain infinite value. Praise the Lord. I offer my suffering, every su everyday suffering and everyday work in union with the sufferings of Jesus on the cross and united with all the holy masses, maybe 500,000 holy masses around the world, then our sufferings attains infinite value, not because of our merits, because of the merits of Jesus and the holy mass. How many of you are ready to offer your suffering for the conversion and healing and evangelization of the nations? Praise the Lord. Raise your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Put down your hand. I will recite a prayer for you. That is from Romans 12.1. Romans 12.1. Maybe you can go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hallelujah. Our God is a mighty God. Healing God. Delivering God. The whole India. The whole Asia, the whole Europe, the whole America, the whole Africa, whole Australia, all the countries of the world have to be evangelized. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There should be thousands and millions of people to carry the gospel and the healing message to the whole world. Hallelujah. 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 Whatever problem you have, you have to pray at least for 10,000 people of that kind. Psalm 91, 7. Psalm 91, 7. A thousand will fall on your right hand side, 10,000 on your left hand side. Praise the Lord. That means when you pray, for, you have a cancer. I pray for 10,000 cancer people. The, the Lord will give them deliverance from sorrow and unwinding of the Holy Spirit. For 10,000. If you pray for 50,000, so much. Not only praying for your child with the mobile addiction, maybe 100,000 other children. Wash them in your precious blood. Then only God will be happy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So final one prayer of offering suffering. That is from Romans 12.1. I appeal to you, brethren, in the mercies of the Lord to offer your suffering, to offer your bodies, offer your su suffering as a living sacrifice, which is a most acceptable offering to God. Offer your suffering as a living sacrifice. So can I recite one prayer? Offering. Oh, I am 76 years old. Offer all the sufferings of the 76 years old. All the humiliations of the 76 years. All the pains I can offer in union with the sufferings of Jesus. For millions of sinners to be converted, to be healed, to be delivered. Hallelujah. Are you ready to offer? Then stand up. Put one hand on your chest and the right hand, one hand up. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I offer all my sufferings, everyday work, past, present, and future in union with the sufferings of Jesus on the cross and in union with all the holy masses celebrated around the world. I offer all my sufferings, everyday work, past, present, and future for the conversion, healing, deliverance of millions of sinners, sick and suffering people around the world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, did you follow? Don't waste any suffering. Jesus accepted cross. He was born not in a palace, but in a 
cattle shed. Soon after his birth, he had to go away to Egypt for eight years because Herod tried to kill him. So suffering was part and parcel of Jesus' life, which he accepted for the forgiveness of sin of the whole world. So we are invited to offer and not to waste everyday suffering in union with the sufferings of Jesus. You are a very blessed group. God bless you and continue to bless you. Hallelujah. And thank you for the wonderful leading music ministry. We want to, Father, at the moment, we want to pray for Father. Father is the prophet of this age and he is the voice in the wilderness. And today, if you and me are here in this facility, it is the faithfulness of Father Matthew that is the fruit of everything that you've seen uh, and you've heard in the last 30 years.